Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about how to set boundaries with your guests that are joining you during your dress shopping process. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if there's any topic, any questions you may have that you'd like me to answer or create a video on for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, and wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. When it comes to shopping for your wedding dress and wedding planning in general, it can be so overwhelming with everyone's opinions, expectations, questions. On top of having to plan everything and figure it all out, you also have to answer to family members, loved ones, friends, and yes, that's part of the fun, but it can be super overwhelming, especially when all of a sudden people have expectations or opinions that you didn't anticipate. When it comes time to start shopping for your wedding dress, I want you to be extremely strategic in who you want to be a part of this experience. Keep in mind that many stores do have a limit of how many guests you can bring and some don't. You'll definitely want to check in with the stores that you have appointments at just to be sure how many guests you are allowed to bring. In some situations, the more the merrier does not apply to this scenario when you are dress shopping, especially if it is your first time trying on gowns. That in and of itself can be really overwhelming just because you're trying to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And it's also the first time for a majority, it's the first time that you're putting a dress on. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind, that it is a rather unfamiliar experience in the sense that you are the center of attention and many people don't realize that not everybody likes to be the center of attention. So there is definitely more attention on you than usual. Keep in mind on how that will make you feel along with people's opinions. The way I recommend to set boundaries when it comes to this process is, first and foremost, you know your guests best. You know what drives you crazy about the people that you love in your life, but also the places in which they can really add value and help you. Something a lot of my brides do is they come in shopping by themselves for the first time. So don't be afraid to do that. You know your personality as well. If you are one to get easily overwhelmed, maybe just having mental clarity and going in alone is the way to start and then bringing people in to see the dresses that you've selected. There is one thing that I really want you to consider if you are to do this. When you are trying on dresses, you learn something about every single dress that you try on that leads you to the direction in which you end up going. So if you end up trying on dresses alone, you have now experienced this process that got you from point A to point B, point B to point C that when you bring people in with you, they don't understand the journey that you went on, so they're not mentally in the same place as you. This is something that you wanna keep in mind if you choose to do that, especially if you're bringing in people that have opinions about what it is that you are wearing or trying on, and maybe they just don't have the same sense of style for your wedding as you do. So definitely keep that in mind if you are shopping alone and then bringing people in after the fact. You may need to take them a little bit on a journey for them to get to where you're at in your search. I highly recommend for those of you that do wanna shop with your entourage, fully support it. This is a moment that you want your loved ones to be a part of. We are absolutely on board with that. But you also want to make this a really enjoyable experience for you and for everyone involved. That being said, I highly recommend if you are someone who wants to soak things in and have everybody keep opinions to themselves, set that boundary ahead of time, let everyone know before your appointment for them to sit back, relax, and enjoy, and to only give their opinion when you ask them to. That's a really reasonable thing to consider here. You can just tell everybody, hey, 
I just want a moment to soak in each dress before everybody starts talking to me and giving opinions. I want to soak it in. I'll give you my opinion and then I want to hear yours as well so we can all co-create and collaborate together and lead me to finding me my dress. That's something that works really, really, really well. Or maybe what you can do is give them a heads up of some images of what you're liking and what's appealing to you and your vision so that that way you're not explaining everything at the appointment. Like I mentioned already, you know your guests best. Choose people that are going to help you be productive and not work against you. Now, that doesn't always work out because perhaps you have a mom, a mother-in-law, an aunt, or someone that you feel obligated to include in your shopping experience that you know you don't have the best rapport or relationship with, and there's just tension between you two, and you have to include them. A lot of our brides will call us ahead of time and let us know, hey, I'm coming in with so-and-so, there's tension between us, I have to have her or him be a part of this experience, and I just wanna let you know that I don't plan on buying my dress this day. I just need to come in for the experience so that I can fulfill this need and this moment with this individual. And then I will come back in afterwards and make my final selection and call it a day. I also have brides who don't wanna deal with any of the things and they come in, select their dress, buy their dress without anyone's opinion and bring the key people in during the alteration appointment to not make them feel that they're completely left out of the experience. Or the other option is also bringing the guests that you want to bring in to help you with accessories. So you can pick out your dress, purchase your dress, and bring them in for an accessory appointment, or the gown inspection once your gown arrives, or even the alteration process so that they still feel a part of your special day. It's also a really great idea if you don't want pricing discussed with guests that are there and you don't want that public, Call the store ahead of time or let your stylist know in the dressing room that you wanna keep that all very, very, very private. We as a store can only be the best for you so long as you're communicating what your needs are to us. And we do our best as bridal stylists to help you create boundaries if you're not comfortable doing it within your appointment. So for example, sometimes we'll have guests that are just rummaging through the store and they wanna select and they want you to play dress up and start trying on all these dresses that has nothing to do with what you want. This happens all the time. We as bridal stylists, if you don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings or you feel uncomfortable saying something, we as stylists can at that point step in in a really nice and kind, loving way and let them know that we're the stylist, we are gonna do the selection, and we've got them covered. We're going to put on everything that appeals to our bride. And I usually do have to do that. Sometimes I do tell my brides, depending on the guest, let's entertain your guest a little bit. Let's try on one or two of their picks so they don't feel unheard or not a part of this experience. Sometimes depending on who the person is, we just have to kind of navigate and sort of massage that ego and just participate for a moment so that they feel fulfilled so that that way we can get back to fulfilling you. I hope that you found these tips helpful. Setting boundaries is not always an easy thing to do, but there are so many ways in which your store and stylist can also help kind of navigate those waters for you if you're uncomfortable doing it. Also, we have a lot of brides that come in ahead of time and then come back and pretend that they have never been in store before. So that is also something that you can can take advantage of just let the store know you can go shopping come back in with guests the second time around make those guests think it's the first time that you're shopping that's something that has worked super super well in the past but just know that we are here for you to help navigate the dynamics to the best of our ability you just need to let us know what your needs are and we will help you navigate from there I hope that you found this video helpful for more videos and tips like these please be sure to tune in every Wednesday 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and I will see you in next week's video